Fallout Season 2 has been confirmed, and I don't think anyone's going to be surprised by that, as it's been the number one show in America for the past couple weeks. And I just want to take a moment to, like, discuss some things that I want to see either explained further or just shown more in general, or, or some stories that I just want to see finished. First off, and I explained this on the previous video, so I'm not going to talk about it too much as I talked about it a ton in the last video, but... Basically, I want to see, like, a Fallout New Vegas ending where, uh, Mr. House 1 implemented it into the show. As out of all the endings, I just think his is going to be the most intriguing to see what happens in the future. And I honestly just think it makes the most sense that, like, out of all the, like, people that Hank could be trying to see, that Mr. House would just make the most sense for him to be seeking help for him or, like, asylum for him. And to expand upon that, I would like to see, like, more Mr. House backstory, some of his, like, pre-war stuff. And, you know, maybe, like, some of, uh, what happened during, uh, New Vegas, just to, like, keep some of the people who haven't played the Fallout games, like, just aware of some of the stuff that's happened. But I would be most curious to see is what happened to Mr. House and New Vegas after Fallout New Vegas. As you see in the end, like, sequence, that New Vegas is kind of trashed, and, you know, one would think that if Mr. House won the ending of New Vegas, that New Vegas wouldn't be trashed. It would still be, like, a full-blown city that is thriving. So I just kind of want to see what happens with Mr. House in New Vegas after the ending. Like, did some bad thing happen where, like, a bunch of people invaded at once and it just took out the city and Mr. House just barely survived or something? Like, I'm a little curious about that. Unless maybe they're going to go after, like, something I didn't think about before, which there's two different things I didn't think about. Which is, one, like, what if no one won and, like, the whole entire city is just ruins and he's just going there to escape? Like, I could see it sort of making sense, but I think I would still like to see Mr. House, uh as their winner of Fallout New Vegas. And the other option could be that, uh, well, what if Cooper's wife survived and she came out of the um, cryo chamber thing and she took over New Vegas? That would make sense as to why New Vegas is just kind of like in ruin and doesn't really like, seem to be doing very well anymore. Like she like maybe like got out of the cryo chambers and somehow massed an army. I, I don't know how she would do that, but the show would probably explain it somehow. And then just took over New Vegas and that's why it's just kind of all messed up because there's like a giant battle to take over New Vegas and now um Hank is trying to seek her help. I also want to see the pre-war story of Cooper and his wife in vault -Tec just finished up in the season or at least expanded upon. I mean I feel like we already know that's coming though so it's I mean it's an unfinished story so it's obviously going to be in season two but nevertheless it's something I would like to see um expanded upon and maybe finished in season two. Kind of want to see like how come Cooper got uh turned into a ghoul while his wife, I'm assuming he's still alive, as he mentioned that he's like still alive because he wants to find his family. But basically, yeah, like I guess another point is I, I want to like find out what happened to Cooper's family and um, what caused him and his wife to basically, I'm assuming like divorce or like split up. As obviously like if that didn't happen, that Cooper wouldn't be a ghoul and he would still be like perfectly fine. So obviously he's going to probably like confront her about this at some point and then it's going to like lead to a big argument and then and they're going to separate and that's going to be what causes him to turn to a ghoul. Which is why now I'm thinking that there, I think there's a stronger chance than I realize that his wife is going to be alive in New Vegas, in control, and that's where Hank's going. Another thing that I've kind of like not talked about enough probably in previous videos is Chet and Norm in the vaults. And I'm thinking with next season, what I want to see is like, well... I guess just what happens with Norm. It was heavily implied at the end of the last season that he's just gonna go into one of those cryo chambers and go to sleep for like a couple hundred years or whatever. But I don't think that's really what's gonna actually happen as, well, they showed all this stuff in the show for a reason. If, if, if it ended in him just going into like a cryo chamber and never being seen again, like this whole story of him in the vault would be kind of pointless to be honest. So maybe it's gonna start with him coming to his senses and be like, you know, it's just a tiny little brain bot that's telling me, oh yeah, you're trapped in here. You can't, you can't leave now. So there's like two things I could see happening next season with Norm. The first one is that Norm would just come to a sentences and be like, okay, well, it's just this stupid little brain bot that's telling me that I can't leave now. So I'm just going to go back and threaten him and tell him like, hey, you let me out or I'm just going to like destroy you. And, uh, well, yeah, like, uh, let me out or else. <laughs> There's not really much you can do to me. Like, I can just avoid your stupid little pointy, like, shot injection thing. Like, I can easily just kick your brains in right now, so just let me out. <laughs> Which I feel like there's there's a solid chance that uh, that's what's going to happen, is that, like, Norm is going to be like, you know, if I go into these cryo chambers, I don't think anyone's actually going to let me out, because every single person here 
is someone who would not want me to know that what's going on here. Like, when more of those people, like, get unfrozen from that little cryo chamber thing, they're not going to see Norm and be like, oh, yeah, let's let him out. He, he knows our dirty little secret. Let's let him out. Like, no, they're probably just going to kill him or just leave him in there to die. But I think it's also possible that Norm might not realize this and he's just going to go in there anyways. And then it's going to be up to Chet to come in there and, like, come to his senses, stop being such a little fucking baby, and uh, come in there and save the day. I'm guessing also what's going to happen is... After all that, there's probably going to be a little rebellion against the overseers of the vault. Like, when people find out about this, like, so, sure, some of them might be like, oh, no, they would never do that. But I think most of them would probably eventually come to their senses and be like, okay, yeah, this is fucked up. We're going to take out these leaders and either they're going to stay in the vault or they're going to leave the vaults. I think some of them would probably want to stay in there and just establish new leadership. But I'm going to guess that Norm and Chet are probably going to leave the vaults and probably look for Lucy that would be my guess and when next season I'm guessing that it's gonna end with either Lucy and Cooper killing Mr. House or it's gonna end up with uh Lucy and the ghoul killing uh Hank and then Mr. House is gonna be the next big threat of uh season three I just think if they let like Mr. House and Hank live at the end of next season there's just gonna be too many bad guys like gonna have Mr. House Hank the Brotherhood of Steel, and the Enclave. And I, I just think it's too many, like, major threats for a show like this. So my guess is that, like, at the end of next season, it's either going to be Hank or Mr. House that gets killed. And then it sets up either Hank or Mr. House to be the main villain of season three. What do you guys think, though? What, am I right? Am I wrong? Is there something I missed? Let me know down in the comments below, please. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. Also, subscribe as well. I'm a pretty tiny channel that has been here for like four years I want to say now and I've not really grown a ton and I've been doing this more out of like a just enjoying it so it, it would just be nice if that like my hard work got rewarded from gaining a bunch of subscribers from this video so if you enjoyed this please consider subscribing um but that's it thanks for watching